Hello everyone. Today I'm going to read a wonderful book for you all. And the name of the book is Why do sunflowers love the sun? Have you ever thought of it? Author Siddharth Mehta, illustrator Dibangshu Molik, publisher Pratham Books. Now let's get started. Viveka wants to paint the sunflower field near her house. She looks at the sunflowers carefully one afternoon. I wonder why they are called sunflowers, she says to Montu and Buntu. Maybe it is because they look like the sun. In the evening, Viveka takes Montu and Bontu outside to eat. She watches the sunflowers in the distance swaying in the breeze. Look, she says to Billy, the cat. The sunflowers look like they are going to fall asleep, just like you. Finally, Viveka sits down to paint. First, she paints the sun high in the sky, just like it was in the afternoon. Then, she paints the sunflowers with their heads looking down sleepily, like she saw them in the evening. In the morning, Viveka goes to the sunflower field to check if her painting is correct. Oh no, she says, I have painted them all wrong. I will have to do it again today. The sunflowers look like they are waking up, but the flowers in my painting look like they are falling asleep. This time, I'll get it right, Viveka tells Montu and Bontu. She goes out to the field at noon and makes a drawing of how the flowers look. The next morning, Viveka runs to the field to check her new painting. How can this be? She cries. Are these sunflowers full of mischief or is this magic? Curious, Viveka climbs the tallest tree in her garden. I am going to watch their every move. Over the next few days, Viveka observes the sunflowers carefully. And she keeps on observing them. She paints them every day for a week. Then, on Sunday, she looks at all her paintings together. Suddenly, she understands what the sunflowers have been doing. It isn't magic or a trick, she says, smiling. The sunflowers just love to follow the sun. Yes, and she keeps on observing the sunflowers. Why do sunflowers follow the sun? The question is in your mind, right? So the answer goes like this. The earth revolves around the sun while also rotating on its axis. As it rotates, half of the planet faces the sun and we call this daytime. At the same time, the other half is in the dark and we call this night. So we all know this. We see the sun rising in the east in the morning and setting in the west in the evening. Throughout the day, plants use the sun's light to prepare their food. But not all plants follow the sun. The stems of young sunflowers contain cells that make them turn towards the sun's light. This property is called heliotropism. This is why sunflowers follow the sun's journey across the sky.